Hello everyone and welcome to the Smite Art Show, the drawn out edition. So yeah, Gavin, you want to explain what this is? Alright guys, so we've listened to your feedback and it's time for us to finally go over all of your art, just like the good old times. Yeah! So we're going to use this, uh, the drawn out edition of the art show. It's the official name. Because that's, it's so long now. It's, get it, because it's art and you draw it, so it's like drawn out, you know, and like... Okay. Um, Anyways, uh, we'll continue to do the art show where you see us on Wednesdays, where we'll probably give you, be giving you the challenges, going over anything cool that happens in the art community, yeah. and all that fun stuff. Of course, announcing the, the top ten <laughs> every week. But then on Fridays, we will be going over all of the rest of the art. And, of course, uh, Fridays will also be the days that we'll be posting everything to Facebook as well, as uh, so there's not any spoilers. Yeah, that way, guys, you get the entire art show. Unfortunately, it is cut in half. But fortunately, you get all of the artwork. You that get twice as many art show. You get twice as much art show. And you get to hear our dulcet tones for, for one of it. Yeah. And it's pretty fun. We have some fun ideas go coming up uh, for the future of this show as well. Yeah. So. And for those that have stuck around with us, again, I salute you and I thank you so much. You guys have been super patient with us and we really hope that we're not annoying you too much. We are really trying to make too the annoying. art show. Well, yeah, that too. Um, but we're, we really are trying to make the art show as great as possible for you guys. So Let's anyway. jump right into it. Well, let's jump right in. So the, our first um, piece is by Alana Jade. Jade. I love this because it's got so many elements to it that... That really add to uh, to like the cuteness of the Chronos Thanatos thing. Well, for one, like the umbrella is uh, rainbow colored, so that's you know yeah. gay pride and everything. And and it's been known that Chronos and Thanatos have a little romance going on. We've had various. I love artists. that we started that. I, I love it too. I, it I don't know. So it makes me very happy. And uh, and various artists have done different uh, kinds of artwork with these two characters. So this is just beautiful, and it's watercolor. I I imagine, right? It looks like watercolor. Watercolor, color pencil. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Very well done and very sweet. So thank you, Alana. This next piece is by Antonio Gechevic. Gechevic. We're gonna go with Gechevic. And this is graphics designer Jean Gui. There's like 15 dudes in our office that look like this. Actually, I'm kidding. Only one kind of. I love the uh, the the break between his hair, eyebrows. Mustache and beard. That's yeah. just so good. That blonde, that bleach blonde, because yeah. that, that is a thing that happens. This kind of reminds me of David. Ah! Do you oh, see it? Because I the hope beanie. he doesn't hear this. No, He's no, gonna... no. Not, not like, obviously a much bigger, gruffier David, but because of the hair swoopy. Yeah, yeah. Hair oh, swoopy. yeah, the hair swoopy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. But I love this so much. This is what a lot of graphic designers look like sometimes. So, uh, very, very nice. Very nice, Antonio. Itch, itch, itch. So this is by Becky Rollins. I woke up like this. I love that Nicki Minaj song. It's so good. I miss that. Yeah, do you? Yeah. Did you miss me? Yeah. And All this right. is Medusa, our newest god. And that was the challenge that we gave you guys last week, guys. Yeah. To draw Medusa, because that was the newest god that was released. And she's awesome, and she looks great. I hope you guys are enjoying her. And uh, whoever wins the top three get gems and buy a bunch of stuff and... and have fun with that. Yeah, so. we uh, we missed the art show this week because of our yeah. studio being set up. Yeah. So we'll probably post our favorites next week so we can do double favorites. Yeah. So right now we're we're recording this in a water closet. So yay! Yeah. Fun yeah, times. We... Good job. This piece is by Cher Shen, who is just notorious for giving us wonderful pieces, and this one is gorgeous. She Another did some Medusa really cool piece. Stuff. But yeah. This well, is just so good. It's beautiful. I think my favorite part of this piece is the snakes, to be honest with you. That's my favorite part. Like, the snakes are anatomically very correct, and the way they're overlapped with each other, they're just gorgeous. And it's a very simple thing, too. Like, for the scales, all she did was brush strokes. Yeah, but that makes it look more like hair, right? It I looks know. more like they're dreadlocks that are also snakes, which is really cool. It's beautiful. It's <clears throat> very well done. I just love that one snake near her face. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Like the imprints and the indentations of the face um, sculpture, or not sculpture, structure. There's character to these, char these snakes' faces, and that's really yeah. great. And the Medusa's mask, just being yeah. all scarred up and everything, that looks really yeah. good too. Yeah, awesome stuff. Good job, Cher Shen, once again. Feeling it. This next one is by Christina Mer Mergolina, and it's raw. It's actually his card. Yeah. It's card art. And he looks 
that. Done in colored yeah. pencil, of course, but this course. is really cool. I feel like maybe the eye was done with marker just to make it like a Give that really, extra really dark. depth of dark or yeah. blackness. And also, um, it's like a mixture of both, I think, but uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. This was gorgeous. a perfect card to use colored pencil on, just because really there's is. a lot of kind of like pastel-ish colors in his card. And there's a lot of gradient, too, and yeah. colored pencils are perfect yeah, for that, really especially if you that. have a blender. Oh, yeah. So this is just wonderful. Great job, Love Christina. the glow you did in his hand, too. This yeah. Is just, you see the sun. Oh, oh, do you, Gavin? You see it. Mm -hmm. This next one is by Cosima Nihaus, and this is Medusa again, once again, and I love it. It's a traditional pencil sketch. Um, I think it's probably really small just because of the width yeah. and girth of the, uh, the pencil etchings, but this is beautiful. And guys, you know we love it. We go crazy when you guys put so much detail into scales. Yep. And each snake has its scales individually done, so really excellent job. We'd love to see the whole body if you have it. Oh yeah. So do it. This next one is by Dare Vans, and it's Medusa. Very what? popular. Again? Very popular goddess for this. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. This art show. Medusa again. This one I really like. There's a uh, very light brush strokes to it. Um, the face is just nice and simple. Um, I think it's actually her face and not the mask because the mask typically has the uh, the, the gold right. rim to it, but um, this is just beautiful. It's very eerie, too, the eyes and everything. And it looks very like it was done, done in paint, possibly. Yeah, good job, dear. This one's my <laughs> absolute favorite. I so was good. dying on my on my desk. So this is by Danilo Reyes. Oh my god. And it's Nudwa asking, what do you need those boots for? And it is like, to walk faster. Boots of course. Of, what is it, Boots of the Magi? No, those are uh, Warrior Time. War okay, okay. Um, I love this, and I'm also horrified slightly because um, those those legs are creepy. Like, my my god, super duper creepy. I'm sorry, but like if you draw all of Medusa and you add two little legs to it, I'm I'm gonna be just really freaked out. Yeah, but excellent. I think Nuwa feels you too because look at that face. Yeah, like, Nuwa's like, like uh, what the hell? Uh, what? Those are tiny little legs. Good job, Danilo. Oh my uh, yes, god. Yes, another Medusa by this. This is by Dario de la Cruz. This is highly stylized too. You can see it in the snakes. The snakes aren't fluid and soft. They're very rigid. They're very geometric in, in their shape. And yeah. it's gorgeous. It works so well. This looks like it would be for like <clears throat> like a really stylized card art yeah. for her. Oh my god, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Just. Everything is, is anatomically correct in her body, and her posture, and everything. And the only thing that's really strange are the snakes. They're all rectangular, they're all very square, and they have so much character to it. So that's really nice that she mixed up those I, like, things, or he mixed up Coming from things. someone who owns a pet snake, I love that her mask is like chipping off as if a snake is shedding its skin. Oh, and showing yeah. her face underneath. I love that. That's that beautiful. That is so cool. Such a good job. Thank you so much, Dario Dela Cruz. This is beautiful. This next one is by David Lopez, and it's Nuwa, right? Yeah, yeah. it's Nuwa. Yeah, it's Nuwa. Uh, Rainbow Nuwa, goddess of colors. And I also think that's an elbow. Or a knee. I can't tell. But it's an elbow or a knee. Where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it might be a leg. They might have posted on their legs. Guys, try to give us... If you have um, a drawing and you don't have a scanner, um, and you just have a camera or an iPhone or anything like that, make sure that the lighting is really good, and make sure that the focus is set on your camera because we yep. want to make sure to see the picture in its beauty. And Don't be afraid to take a ton of pictures and then look at them all and decide which one's the best yeah. because, you know. We want to make sure that your pieces are shown on the art show and they can't if they're if they're grainy, but this is good. Good job, David Lopez. Very cute. I love the rainbow here. This one's by Dorian Makunde and it's Hades. Boo. Boo. Poo poo. poo, -poo. Blurg. Blurg. So, so scary. scary. <laughs> I believe the title of this piece was originally like, took me eight days. <laughs> <laughs> like four hours and 36 minutes and I was like oh man this sounds like this is a serious oh my god I actually took a trip to Paris and stared at the Mona Lisa for five hours and made Hades beautiful this is cute I love this this is very sweet I, I just like the simplicity of it he's just wearing a, a blue snuggie it looks almost snuggie. as if it was done with finger paint I, yeah. I kind of love that I like that too I know it's not but it'd be fun it's a nice little texture on the on the brushes yeah. good job Dorian Makune or Makune uh, this one was tweeted to us by Ericus, and it's Medusa. It's Masquerade Medusa, mm. or yeah, something like that. But um, it's very beautiful. That looks like you, Gavin. I know I think it's, it might be Apollo, but it looks like you. I don't know. I think that's you. No, it's not. I mean, those hands are pretty small. That suit's pretty fly. 
See, with an insult comes the yeah, compliment. Yeah, a little bit of a compliment. Well, well, you know. I love how her hair in this is just hair, but at the very tips yeah. are snakes as if they're hiding within her locks. It's almost like a, a humanoid version of Medusa, like mid-transformation. Very also, cool. maybe a witch, because she has a wand. Yeah, I don't know what's Possibly? up. Possibly. Oh, or an arrow. She's pulling from, like, thin air or something. Oh, maybe. Yeah. This cool is very stuff, well though. done. Good job, Erica. This next piece is again by Erica, and this is, uh, oh my god, Chonga and... Chonga and Hu Yi. Hu Yi. And it's beautiful. It's sweet. He's She's on the moon, and I think he's mourning by, like, lighting up paper lanterns. With his bow. Yeah, and then he like takes him down with it with an arrow. Yeah. And Jonga is so sad. She's like, She's no. very sad. That was my favorite lantern, you <laughs> jerk. And he mistook it for his son and was like, nah, -uh, not on my watch. <laughs> yeah. Not again. Only one! There will be only one! Not today. But very cute job, Erica, and, and really good job setting the tone as well for the night sky and the um, the, the spiraling staircase and everything. Yep. Beautiful job. This next one is by Evalgan Art, and it's Aries. Um, grabbing a multitude of different gods, one of them being Kronos and Thanatos, Thanatos having a little smooch. Yes, um, yes Kiesim. And then you have Hun Yi, or Hu Yi, and then you have Medusa, and then I think that's a mirror? There's like a Scylla, a Emir, uh, Medusa, and then uh, Thanatos and Kronos. Scylla? And Where do you see a Scylla? Up there in the top left, I think. I think? Mm, I, is it? I don't know. Possibly. Maybe. But uh, it looks like Huyi is very excited about getting a pentakill using his ult. Best series ever! Uh, very cute job. Thank you so much, of all the art for this one. This one's by Flix Stefan, and it's antivirus. Antivirus. Virus. Virus. I was about no, to say it's... the Spanish word, antivirus. Huh. Yeah. But it's very like a cyberpunk uh, look for like Nemesis, it. and she's kind of like, yeah, cyber ninja. Yeah. Pretty cool. I love this skin. I think this is really cool. I'd love to see the sword, actually. I um, really love what you've done with the colors, with the blue. Like, there's so yeah. much glow to it. Like, you really, really can tell. I like that uh, her arms are pixelated, or they're becoming yeah, pixelated. Yeah. Or she's actually, like, finishing up the transformation or something like that. But yeah. it's it's beautifully done. We'd love to see a back part of it, too. With concept Ooh, yeah. art, guys, it's really great for you guys to front not only give us a cool pose, but also give us front and back um, and multiple different images. But this is beautiful. Good job, Flix. Definitely. This one's by our lovely Gwendolyn Martin. She's so great at, at all these pictures that she does, like these compositions, everything, all the characters that she draws. She does this where she draws multiple characters in one piece, and that can seem a bit tedious because like all of our gods are really right. highly detailed, but this is gorgeous. This is Janus, uh, Medusa, Geb, Nemesis, and Amir going through the portals and just having a good time. Yeah, that's, I think they're introducing them, or, uh, Medusa to the, the battlefield of the gods. I can show you the map. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was great. Oh, fire. But Gwendolyn, wonderful as always, loves seeing your stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's really well done. Ooh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Getting, getting creepy with Medusa, but with uh, Hedor Fraga. <laughs> and we have uh, Medusa taking her mask off to show you her creepy, creepy snake face. And I love what you did with the scales. You've got, like, you've given them, even though you're just using pencil uh, and using uh, just a little bit of shading, you give them kind of like a glimmer, like yeah. a shine to them. Also, those scales are hecka clean. Yeah. Like, oh my god. I know you can tell some of them are overlapping each other, but my god, they're all the same shape and they're perfect. Yeah. Like, this is great. And it's also really good to see Medusa with her mask off because she is a... You know, she is very sensual in, in a way, and she's been drawn very cute and everything, so it's nice to see her in a different light. Yeah, and that mask, I just want to point this out, the Beautiful. the shading you use on the mask to make it look like it's carved out of marble, mm -hmm. ooh, that's so good. Oh yeah? Oh, that's yeah, I so it. good. You want a blanket? He's shivering over here. This next one is by Igor Dragachevic, and it's Hades. Yeah, yeah it's Hades. It's I love this. Looking, looking pretty mean. Yeah, Igor has given us some stuff too. I think this is kind of like a, a nice departure from his usual stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is very cool. It's like a little concept. Gotta for take yourselves. Yeah. Good job, job, Igor. Another one. This is actually the exact same thing that we saw um, before. Uh, is This is by Isabel Madaleno, and it's Medusa taking off her mask. I actually really like Looking it. Looking a little more sensual this time, though. Yeah, looking a little bit more soft and, like, sad. Like, yeah. oh, man, you, you hurt my eyes. And drooling a little. What? Oh, yeah. I well, can't judge. It, might, it looks like boogers. 
boogers. Um, <laughs> She's just drooling boogers. <laughs> This is very cute and very, very adorable. Love this. A food. lot softer than the one that we just saw. Yeah. And color as well. This one's by Jacob Sanchez, and it's uh, Phantom, Phantom of the Phantom, Opera Hui. Yeah, Phantom of the Opera Hui, and I really like that the chandelier is actually the um, the headdress. Yeah. The what? Excuse me. Shunga. Shunga. I thought Her you were headdress. telling me how to say chandelier. I was about no. To slap that would have been funny. I the the chandelier. Chandelier. Sh- oh. oh! <laughs> Yes, that's awesome. But I really like that the chandelier shape is Chang'e's headdress. That's nice. That's I actually really hope that when he holds instead of moon, or like, sorry, suns falling down, it's just chandeliers falling out of the sky. No, because that's like be fun. kind of him shooting down his beloved. Nah, whatever. You're so dumb, Gavin. <laughs> Next. All right, so still by Jacob Sanchez, and we have a Medusa. Hey. And it looks like her uh, snakes are trying to eat food while she's just being sitting there being cute. I like this. This is very adorable. Don't eat the poor duck. Yeah, the, well, it looks like a dove, maybe. Okay, well, uh, like doves ducks. are assholes. Oh, yeah. Well, are they? Yeah, they're assholes. Oh, yeah. Eat that dove. Do it. And those snakes are so cute. There Good are. job, Jacob Sanchez. This one's by Jason Bacar. And we it's have Medusa. It's like Medusa. Stylish Medusa. Stylish Medusa. I really Medusa. like the face. Um, the, the huge crown. Or not crown, but the huge part of You said of huge, the, and I was like, where are you going with this? Well, no, uh, she's obviously... Personality? She's obviously rocking some Lots personality, personality, right? Like, that's just the first. It's a given. But, um, nice traditional pencil sketch on paper. So, good job, Jason McCart. Very nice. Oh, my God. I love this guy. Jordan is so sweet. I adore him. Because on Twitter, he always posts, like, these sexy dudes. He's posted... <laughs> I think he posted Apollo. The yeah, one with yeah, the, yeah. um... <clears throat> uh, the hand. The hand Apollo. Yeah, where he's like, I need a scarf. It's cold out. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is supposed to be Fenrir. This is a... a yeah, see, I was wondering if this was a, a Fenrir, Fenrir or if this was, uh, like, a Hu Yi because of the, the eye oh, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, like, I clear... I, I, I see this as... No, Fenrir, no. Right? I had a conversation with Jordan. This is, oh. This is oh, definitely oh, oh. Fenrir. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, He was kind enough to draw me an Al Kuang, which I don't see in here, which is probably for the best because it's Uh-oh. a little, like, hey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I love me some Al Kuang. Y'all know. Good job, Jordan. This, oh, one's this is Jordan. so adorable. I know, this one's adorable. This one's by Jordan Ray Morrison, and it's Sir Ket and, uh, oh god, Manticore. The Manticore, yeah. Yes, and it's perfect, because I, I don't know why nobody's ever drawn this pairing before, because they both have the scorpion tail, so yeah. it's adorable. Sir Ket's like, you're quite an ugly creature, and Manticore's like, Psh, Really pissed about it. Whatever, and she stabs him, stabs her, and she's like, um, I got poison in, in my blood, Holmes. How adorable, you tried to kill me, right? Deal with it. It's very well done. And this next piece, still by Jordan Ray Morrison, and it is a like a couple picture of the two of them with uh, Sir Ket and her little baby manicure. I would love to see this as a series, so Jordan, get on it, because I think a lot of people are going to love this. This is just so cute. Yeah, this is just so cute. I really am wondering why we never thought of this. This is so adorable. So good job, Jordan. This one's by Catherine Smith, and it's a nice, simple gib for uh, for a friend. Jacob, awesome piece, Jacob. You truly rock. I'm so sorry for your loss. And this is a very sweet and touching little drawing for him if he liked gib. So yeah, very cute. Good job, Catherine Smith. This one's by Kira. So this oh, is by uh, streamer Echo uh, oh. Echo Kira, and uh, she's been working on her art recently, and mm-hmm. uh, she's been tweeting about it. I've noticed. And she hasn't been sending anything stuff stuff in, so I gave her a hard time, and she finally submitted this and knew this. Uh, you, will you just? This water closet is not big enough. I, I just, I can't punch you in the face. <laughs> um, but this is, yeah, this is Anubis for one. I love Anubis, so obviously it's it's gonna be in here. Uh, very well done, colored. Shading, uh, it's just gorgeous. Yeah, and I think you've been working on uh, that muscle tone improving your shading and doing stuff like that. And I can definitely tell you're you're improving from the stuff you posted on Twitter. Keep sending your stuff in because we'd love to see how you improve. Please do. This next one is by Kirill Litvinko, and it's Nox. It's two separate skins for Nox. It's like one of them is nighttime and she's in her PJs, and instead of a chandel or candelabra, it's just like a little night lamp. Yeah. And it's really cute. And the next one, I I guess it's like some sort of darker, it's maybe like, Mayan? Yeah. Because of the feathers, like I think. Oh, it reminds me of the uh, Soul Taker Hades. Yeah. Skin. 
Yeah, but uh, this is really great. We love to see skins for Nox because she is one of our most popular. Gods. I love what you did with the hair for both of these skins because yeah. you, you kind of went crazy with it. You gave her long hair instead of a short little bob. Well, she, she has long hair. Oh, you're right, right. She bangs. just has like yeah. crazy bangs and. Yeah, like, she weird. looks like Yuna. Yeah. That's what she looks like. But uh, very well done, Kirill Lubenko. Excellent use of colors as well. This one is by the same artist, Kirill Lindbinko. Doing, doing goddesses in Paris. Yeah, and this is perfect because uh, Nuwa and Medusa are two of the only goddesses that have um, snake skin and, and snake tails. Yep. So this is beautifully done. And I really like that you added filters too. It really stylizes the pieces. Yeah. You did it with the Nox one and you did it with this one. So this is gorgeous. Very well done. I think it's colored pencil as well. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But you did a great job on the shading on both the hair and yeah. the clo cloth oh and all that stuff. Very fun. The hair looks great. This next one is by Lara Gomes, and it's our darlings. It's Pronos and Thanatos. Which is which? We will never know. I have no I'm <laughs> completely lost right now. Where <laughs> am I? But this is great. The, their eyes are creepy, though. The eyes are creepy, like both but... of them. They're, they're very cute. It's I like the that style that you have. Dead Thanatos eyes and those, like, spaced out... <laughs> Yeah, right. Chrono's eyes. I really like the wings for Thanatos. Yeah, that's pretty cool. His wings are gorgeous. Even though they're obviously very simple lines, mm -hmm. they're just so pretty anyway. They're, they're really well done. This one, I adore this one. This is by Laura Pink. <laughs> and she actually was kind enough to tweet us this image because um, she, uh, she drew, or no, her boyfriend tweeted us these images, I think. And this yeah. is like Oktoberfest, uh, but. Bacchus. Oh yeah, my yeah. god. I was about to say Bacchusera. It's like, <laughs> nope, you don't want to see that. They both eat a lot. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I like that you made him kind of an Americanized version, because he's wearing lederhosen, but he's also wearing socks with sandals. Okay, that's also known for being German is touristy. Yeah, is it? That's, that is a both American-German thing. That is something we share together in our two countries. Good heavens. Well, you know, Germany. They are drunk all the time. <laughs> So, but very cute. Very good if job, Laura. You're a German viewer. We apologize. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm a little German, so it's okay. And to follow up with that German one, uh, same artist, Laura Pink, gave us a German uh, Knox in, um, not Lederhosen, in Fraulein. Yeah, whatever that is. Frock or, or dress. Um, I love that instead of candles yeah, for the she's candle lovers, she's got beers. It's so great. That's wonderful. Beautiful job, and the proportions of the bodies are, are great as well. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is by Lucas Partoxas. 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 This is actually really somber and very sweet. You know, it's Medusa. Usually, you see her about to wreck someone, or turning them into, or she's or looking very serious. But this is kind of a, a softer side of Medusa. I love the colors too. You didn't use um, normal, typical colors for nighttime sky. You used yellows and purples. Yeah. Um, but it's very beautiful. It's very soft too. Mm -hmm. So good job, Lucas. This one's by Maddie Lawler, and it's adorable. It's uh, as you guys know, Pegasus was made uh, by Medusa, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she's got her little baby Pegasus, and she's silence, Anna. Don't no one care about no Pegasus. The art show is now over. We'll see you next week. <laughs> 